Our first guest is the very funny and very handsome star of NBC's Parks and Recreation. He's also starring in HBO's amazing new movie, Behind the Candelabra. Take a look. I want you to make Scott look like this. Can you do that? Oh, I see. Oh, yes, I think I can do what you want. He's gonna need a nose job. And I'm gonna have to restructure his cheekbones and his chin with silicone implants, but it's not impossible. But first, we gotta slim him down. I have a terrific diet. The California diet, guaranteed loss of 15 pounds in four weeks. Uh, this movie is is brilliant, and uh, I actually called Michael Douglas and 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 Matt Damon and and oh, good, I mean, good, it good. really it just it is it is everyone you're great they're great the movie's great it's uh, you're really the funniest thing in it because it's not played for comedy it's no. a real story about Liberace yeah and and, and and I agree with you I think Michael's one of my favorite actors. I mean, he, I can't even begin to name all his great work, and, yeah. and Matt as well, and I think this is the best they've ever been, yes. and for me to jump into that with those kind of guys taking such big swings was, was yeah. really fun. That's what Michael said. I mean, he's brilliant as Liberace, but he said, you know, for Matt to take that on, to, to, to uh, you know, to take on that role, because they go for it, they really oh. do. Um, so, so when did you join in with, with them? They were both attached. <laughs> They were both attached. I had been following the project before um, Steven Soderbergh, who's, we had mentioned him, brilliant director. Direct, yeah. um, he called and asked me to come join them. But I'd been following it before then just as a fan, just going, this is going to be great. Yeah. Michael Douglas is Liberace, I'm there. I don't yeah. care. I'm Steven Soderbergh directing, I'm there. Yeah. So as a fan, I had been following the movie. And then out of the blue, they called and asked me to play this demented doctor. And he's a re he was a real guy. He, he was, was the a plastic real surgeon guy. He... who did all the plastics. <laughs> Can you imagine? Now, did he look <laughs> like that? <laughs> Come on, girls, it's making you hot. Admit it. You can't make yourself bad. No. Um, he he is a real guy. There were no known photos of him <laughs> as he. It, it, it's very sort of Robin Gibb meets. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. How would you like to have him operating on your face? Because right. that's what he did to his own face. Yeah, he, takes, he gives Liberace a facelift where, where Liberace can no longer close his own eyes. And that's a true story. True, it's all that, true. That he couldn't close his eyes. He slept with his eyes wide open. Yeah. And, but as the doctor says, oh, it's great. Think you'll be able to see people's expressions when they see how fabulous you look. Yeah. Um, and then he is asked by Liberace to make Ma Matt look like him. So right. it's, it's, it's insane. And then he does. He, he makes the guy get like a cleft in his chin. And I did he, all that surgery yeah. in the movie. I had to learn how to do, yeah. Like on what? Like some kind of dummy thing on a table? An amazing and deeply disturbing replica of Matt Damon. Wow, so you had to like cut into I'd, something. All the incisor, all that work that you see in the movie is actually me doing it. And that's one of the great things about being an actor is you get to learn a lot of really useless things. Like, I could give you a botched facelift if you want one. <laughs> I now know how to do Anybody? that. Anybody? A couple people want it. It's worth, worth him touching you. It's OK. <laughs> yeah. All right. We have to take a break. Um, it really is. We're going to take a break and play a game, because he is great at impressions, and we're going we're gonna to test him on that. But uh -oh. really, I can't say enough good things about this movie. It is, it is fabulous, fabulous. It's on HBO soon. But anyway, we'll be right back. Thank you.